Hi, I'm Wendy, and today we're making gluten-free apple crisp. First, I'm going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The first thing we need to do is peel and core our apples. Our family chooses to use gala apples. They're super sweet and delicious, but you can choose any sort of all-purpose baking apple that you prefer. Can I have some skin? Mm-hmm. Who wants these pieces? Me, me. Why are you cutting the apple up? So that it's a nice bite size for us. I'm cutting it into quarters. Oh. I know a song about love. You do? There's more to you than love. I forget the rest. Oh. To make the gluten-free crisp, I have a mixture of my own flours. What I do is I put in a completely separate sealed container. I mix one and a quarter cups of brown rice flour, one and a quarter cups of white rice flour, one cup of tapioca starch, one cup of sweet rice flour, and two teaspoons of xanthan gum. And if I can give you any hint at all about any gluten-free baking, do not spill the xanthan gum. You will never get that mess cleaned up. It's the slipperiest stuff in the world. So in this container here, I have half a cup of my gluten-free flour mixture. Xanthan gum makes the flours a little bit more stretchy, a little bit more like a regular gluten flour. Okay. I have half a cup of gluten-free oats. Can I can do that. I have two thirds of a cup of brown sugar, three quarters of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Now, normally the recipe would call for three quarters of a teaspoon of nutmeg. When you grate your own, it has a much more potent flavor and it's not as easy to measure. So I just go for it and measure until I think it's enough. And I've used about that much. You wanna smell it? I'm going to mix it with my hands until it clumps up into the size of little peas. Flour and water make your hands all crumply. Mm-hmm. Where did you learn that? Sticky. My little pony. Oh. You can mix it around. No, you can't lick my fingers. I'm now placing this in the oven at 350 degrees for half an hour. When the apples come out, they should still be a little bit firm if you're using a gala apple after half an hour. So it's not going to be the soft, soggy crisp. It's going to be crispy and a little bit crunchy but warm. You have also heard it. You want a coffee, Judy? I might. I might. It's good. It's good. I hope you have an opportunity to try this gluten-free apple crisp. It's one of my personal favorites. Remember to follow us on Twitter. 
Check out our website, wendybakes.com. And remember that on the 28th of every month, we will submit a new video around noon. So have fun baking.